Namaste kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. I am Intuitive Flow, if you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. If you haven't already and you feel you resonate with me as a reader, make sure you subscribe, please. Thank you to all of you who've already subscribed. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to everyone who just shows me love and support and genuine energy to the channel and the messages that I convey um, through my downloads and through the assistance of oracles and tarot and intuition i just i thank all of you um make sure you like up on the video as you know it truly helps the channel grow you know and keeps me in rotation with other beautiful readers here on youtube i can make you put your phone down hey mm -hmm. listen i got erica badu in my ear right now this is my shit, scorpio I feel like you got somebody. Okay, first of all, the first, okay. The first download that I kept hearing was big happy changes. But the energy that came along with the big happy changes came with a sense of sadness or a sort of sadness in regards to the big happy change. <clears throat> now, for some of you, there's something that you have, manifested or you've attracted into your reality and you may be shocked you may be caught off guard you may be in denial like oh shit like it, this shit is really about to happen um or some of you could be in an environment that isn't allowing you to fully embrace something that you deserve and Source wants us to know, Scorpio, we deserve everything that is coming to us that is of positivity, is of significance, is of growth, health, and wealth, and it's going to make us better individuals and more independent is what I'm hearing. So I want to pull a surrender oracle for that because it's something that you're holding on to or there's some type of feeling around this change. And I feel like it's a big, happy change. It's a positive change. It's something that you need actually um, going into this new year, 2023. And there needs to be a more sense of lightheartedness around it. Because that's going to allow the transition or the transformation or the forward movement to be less rocky. So there's also energy of following the path to least resistance. Because still, no matter how much you try to resist, the change is happening. You've already called it in. Okay, if some of you guys called this in. This in uh, of the beginning of this year, last year, years ago, okay, whatever it is is coming, but your your thoughts around it or your energy around it isn't in vibration with what it is. So let's go ahead and pull a surrender oracle. Okay, but yeah, I was bumping um Erica Badu. I can make it. Put your phone down. Hey. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, put your phone down. I'm also getting that energy as you having someone's undivided attention, okay? This is someone who you've never really had to struggle with, but I feel like there's a sense of recognition because nowadays people have a hard time with giving that undivided attention to your person or within a connection or relationship. I mean, you know, nowadays everything is just social media based. 
people can't put their phone down, have a civil conversation, have a romantic night out, you know, eat dinner without picking up their fucking phone, you know? And I just see a connection here and I see you laughing with somebody like, I can make you put your phone down <laughs> or like I made you put your phone down, you know, like if you got somebody wide open, they don't think nothing of it. Right. Or when they get a call, I mean, unless it has something to do with like work or, you know, something very significant, you know, they may. But other than that, it's all about you, baby. All right, Scorpio. So let's see. Loosen up, Scorpio. Loosen up. Hmm. Do some stretches here. Surrender to effortlessness. And look, it's strange that I said loosen up, Scorpio, because to do this activity, you have to be flexible as fuck. There's something around movement within the body that is going to allow you to be a little bit more at ease with this change. All right, it says stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. I really like this because the energy around this forward movement, because it is forward movement, and we are a fixed sign, Scorpio, so sometimes change can be difficult, but you have to understand the more you try to resist it, the more harder it's going to be. And it's kind of like, an oxymoron because it's like you feel like resisting it is helping the situation but it's only making it worse it's, it's like you're forcing it backwards you're forcing backwards right like it's like no god wants us to move forward god wants us to go with the flow god wants us to align ourselves with this big happy change and not to push so hard it's like, we've already done that, though. You know, we've already did the pushing and the forcing and the convincing and the, you know what I'm saying? The being anxious and paranoid and stressed about shit. It's like, no, now it's time to relax. Time to relax, Scorpio. So release the F, release or surrender to effortlessness. Some of you guys could do this activity here or could benefit from doing pole aerobics or taking some type of dance class. Yoga, of course, you know. I feel like a lot of you already do yoga. It's time to do something new, fun, and sexy. I'm, here, I'm also hearing something about like burlesque, you know, tapping into your sensuality is important too i feel like that will help and that would help you with moving forward effortlessly here i'm also hearing a mantra i'm hearing a mantra i just keep hearing comes to me effortlessly but there's nothing before that so there's no cap there's no limit Anything the universe desires for me flows to me effortlessly. That's what I'm hearing. Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source, provide me with a spirit animal for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. The Gazelle beautiful energy i love it the gazelle scorpio this makes me think about too i feel like i was mentioning this new couple heinz and gazelle and she has a very soft sensual nature about her very significant but i feel like this energy is giving me like astute assertive yet nurturing and attentive 
also understanding and protective, a lot of energy coming through with this gazelle energy. I mean, it's just a beautiful animal. Hmm. Let's get the, the energy on the gazelle here. Some of you guys, you have amazing posture is what I'm hearing. Like, and a lot of, a lot of you Scorpio, you stand out in a crowd. There's something about you. I'm also getting like a tall woman, like a woman five, nine and up. Like, and you're confident in that, or you may be struggling with being confident with your height. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are rare. Okay. I also just heard men love a tall woman. They like they like legs, honey. I feel like legs is your your strong feature here, Scorpio. And I'm also hearing you have a lot of strength in your legs. Okay, so for the gazelle, it says heightened awareness and ability of vulnerability. Uh, let me read that again. Heightened awareness and ability, vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Yes. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper-vigilant. And this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to take back. It's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, graceful, perceptive, and artistic. When out of balance, food allergies, insomnia, racing mind. Oof. To bring into balance, yin yoga, a cozy home, good food. You know, this is very significant and I'm going to be transparent. I might be a little out of balance with the gazelle energy. So I got to tap more into my yoga or into this yin yoga but I've been having a racing mind I don't know if some of you guys have been struggling with that Scorpio like you can't sleep you're up all night now I don't know about any food allergies but some of you guys may have food allergies or you may need to get like a food allergy uh, panel like blood work done to see if you are if you're suffering from any rashes or breakouts or um, unusual, I'm hearing uh, pimples or, um, yeah, breakouts. So, yeah, get into some yin yoga, Scorpio, all right? Make your home cozy, all right, and comfortable and sophisticated and get you some good food. You know we love to eat. I know I do. I know I love to eat. All right, so. Universe source, what else can you tell me about this big happy change here? And for Scorpio surrendering to effortlessness, please. What else can you tell us? Yeah, nine of cups beautiful energy surrendering to effortlessness as it pertains to this big happy change coming in for you Scorpio is just going to give you such a high vibrational feeling it's giving uh, I don't know why I'm hearing Krishan rock and I don't listen to her it's been like <laughs> some crazy ass songs that I've been channeling but I'm hearing that song it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Like how she be like shaking her head. It's just like, like you just in your own world. It's a vibe. Like it's all about you. It's all about me. Okay. Effortlessly. Okay. Not really giving a fuck about what anybody have to say about you feeling yourself. 
feeling secure, happy, in tune, all right? Um, gifting yourself with different things, okay? Material and spiritual and physical things, things that make you happy. You know, it's it's time, Scorpio, because for a lot of the time, people try to say that Scorpios are um, selfish, uh, selfish or self-centered. But I feel like right now is the perfect time to embrace that because honestly speaking, every man is for themselves, Scorpio. Don't ever get it fucked up. So at the end of the day, if nobody else can treat you with integrity, with honesty, with nobility, with stability, if no one else can provide you with the happiness that you and Source provide to you, why not stay in your bag? Why not stay in your lane? Why not continue doing for yourself and doing for you what makes you happy? Making sure you're taking care of yourself getting those facials, getting those, mas- those massages, getting those waxes, getting your hair and nails done, or doing it yourself, okay? Figuring out how to do something new or try something new, okay? This is even has to do with um, that good food. This is, I don't know why it's giving me um, Taurus vibes. So some of you guys could have Taurus significantly in your chart, but it's just giving me the vibe of like, making sure moving forward into this big happy changes you are indulging in things that truly make you happy like to the point to where you feel like you're floating and nothing even matters nothing even matters to me nothing it don't matter at all at all and there's the page of cup making that the ten of cups all right yeah for some reason this seven of swords is giving me environmental vibes and it doesn't matter which environment it is but is there's a vibe that you're just not feeling and you probably are working your way from okay or you need to because with the page of cups and nine of cups as ten of cups, you're on your way to being I just heard disgustingly happy. It's like you know those couples that um you might see and um you're like, uh, get a room, but right? It's like, oh, you guys are so stinking happy, you guys are so stinking cute. But for me, Scorpio, this is all about you. Like people are gonna be seeing you. And you're going to just be glowing, radiating, high vibrational energy. You're going to be getting asked, like, what are you doing, Scorpio? Like, what what are you doing with your skin? What is your skincare routine? Right? And you're going to be like, I drink water and eat, uh, and eat green leaves or leafy greens. I had to get the right words out. Like, I eat my salad and drink plenty of water and eat only water-based fruits that contain high volumes of water, all right? It's like, it's something here that you are just radiating and this is going to be perfect. I feel like this is your big happy change here that some of you guys are moving towards, like just being a very high vibrational energy um, a high or being in a high vibrational energy and just being very self-aware and very happy with who you are and where you are in that journey. Seven of Swords, I really do feel like you might, you know, you might deal with some jealousy, you might deal with some envy or some type of deception here. All right. Um, I'm seeing the Hermit and the, the Knight of Pentacles here. So there's energy around um, you definitely having to walk away from a person, place, or thing due to their deceptive ways here. And it's like we give so much of ourselves to Scorpio that 
you 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 be like what what about me made you feel like you had to deceive me or try to deceive me or be vengeful or nasty towards me like at that point Scorpio you know it's not you because even if you were in the seven of swords energy you're just gonna pull the fuck back you're gonna make sure you're not even around anybody in that energy because you know how you are in that energy right so a lot of the time Scorpio we only grace people with our presence when we have something that we can provide and Honestly, most of the time our energy is contagious. So if you got somebody hating on you or wishing ill will on you, stalking you, following you, wanting to be you, they have a problem. Could be a mental illness. But you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep going. All right. I feel like, too, for a lot of you, uh, this is in regards to your children, too. Yeah, I just heard um, you want your kids to see mama happy. Mm, Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. What is this about? Four of Pentacles in the reverse with the Knight of Wands. So releasing some type of um, some type of fling are letting go of things that are not of significance and don't hold any weight or value or depth. It's like a part of moving forward effortlessly towards this big happy chain, Scorpio, you are no longer um, putting yourself in situations with people who don't plan on staying, don't plan on sticking around, who just want you know, some fun time or wants to be in and out of your life or wants to act on some type of some type of quick impulse and then be done. It's like, nah, no more of that. This could be someone coming towards you. All right, two of cups. Yeah, two of cups, ace of cups, three of wands. I definitely do feel like with you releasing this person, then you allow um, a new love to come in here. Some of you guys could definitely be moving toward the new relationship that is a part of your big happy change. Um, this is beautiful. I feel like this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Gemini. But with the with the two of cups, ace of cups, and three of wands, this is that big happy change you've been waiting for as it pertains to love. And definitely, this is because you are walking in your purpose, walking in your truth, walking in your true authenticity, being genuinely happy and exuding that without forcing it, making sure you are vibrating at a high frequency effortlessly, okay? Emphasis on effortlessness. I can't even say it. Emphasis on effortlessness. Why I can't say that? effortlessness because i'm trying to say effortlessly and effortlessness at the same time there's emphasis on this word because we can witness people really struggling with this like really trying hard like especially scorpio we can tell when somebody just trying so goddamn hard and just faking it and we be over it we'd be like next (laughs) right and so if we can see that in people you don't think people can see that with us so it's very important Scorpio for you to move effortlessly in your authenticity and in your true happiness and not try to dumb it down or make it seem less than what it really is no I'm motherfucking happy I'm living my best motherfucking life things are working out for me seamlessly and effortlessly through God, through source, through the most high. I'm good and stand on that, period, with grace and elegance. Oh, let's get into this gazelle energy. Holy divine spirit, what can you tell me about the gazelle? 
Knight of Cups. And then the more that you exude this energy, this graceful energy, this nurturing energy, this energy to stand in your true power and not get overtaken by the powers that may be or the forces that may be around you trying to shake you off your pivot, you're going to be getting more offers. Warmer people are going to be interested in you. People are going to be hitting on you. You're going to be getting a lot of proposals, maybe even going out on a couple of dates. Um, a lot of offers coming in. People wanting to invest with invest in you, wanting to work with you. I'm also getting like some type of modeling contract, okay? Um, some of you guys may think that you're too old to model or you don't have what it takes like no like there's something about you that's very intriguing and interesting about and interesting even at your age okay so you could be over 35 and but you look like you 22 okay aging very well again there's some type of youthful glow about you with the six of swords that's moving towards that big happy change and look the fucking star i cannot lie <laughs> that's just that on that like you're moving towards your your stardom your freedom your sovereignty and this could be what is the word this could be overwhelming um and you may feel like you're not prepared you know, for this type of attention or for this type of healing or for this type of success. But with the star card, some of you guys could have Aquarius significantly um, significant in your chart or you could have very um, significant Aquarian placements. But the very thing that we feel like we're not ready for, Scorpio, when the opportunity when the opportunity presents itself, that's God saying you're ready. We have the magician and we have the nine of swords, and that's that energy to where I said some of you guys have manifested something, and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, is it? it it's going down. It's going down, and you there's nowhere there's nowhere for you to go now. Exactly what you manifested is fucking here. All right. Say hello to the new me. New me who this? That's what you tell the motherfuckers. New me who this? Right? Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't be in panic, fear, or anxiety. For what? You are highly protected, Scorpio. Divinely guided in this mission, in this walk, on this journey. But when you hit a level of anxiety or fear, you got to rebuke that. You got to command your power back and know who you are and stand in it. Know who gives you the faith, the courage, the wisdom, and the energy to press through. God has given you all the tools to do whatever ever you want to do however you want to do it in direct communication and co-creation with source god energy which is you the goddess or god within you your higher consciousness pay attention tap into that yin yoga scorpio all right let's pull um a self-care oracle and then we're going to close it out this was a beautiful reading Big happy changes coming, Squirt. Big happy changes coming for the Scorpio gang. Holy Divine Spirit Universe Stories. Provide me an oracle for self-care for my Scorpio. Aside from the yin yoga and a cozy home and some good food. What else can Scorpio benefit from during this time? Towards this big happy change. Connect with crystals. And we have connect with your womb and sweet treat. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle again because I just want one. 
but definitely start tapping more into your crystal scorpio i think that you'll really benefit from buying crystals that are significant to the mood you're in to what you're trying to heal or what you're trying to bring in never buy crystals just to fucking buy crystals okay crystals are divination tools to assist us on our journey with the most high and sometimes we run into these situations where we're facing some type of anxiety nine of swords so maybe you can benefit from getting crystals that eases the heart or calms the mind or um allows you to be a little more um, gentle with yourself or not overthink right um sweet treat that taps into where you know get you some good food maybe you guys can benefit from baking um i'm hearing gluten-free or vegan treats here some of you guys may definitely be going into veganism or becoming a vegetarian or even if you don't you want to have some brownies with some nuts or you know, I'm hearing a strawberry shortcake. Ooh, with the pound cake, Scorpio. Ooh, with the with the strawberries and you put that whipped cream. Ooh, I think I'm going to make that for me and my son. That sounds good as fuck. I'm not going to even lie. Um, an apple pie here. A lemon meringue pie. But I feel like what this is hitting towards is your senses. Your sense of smell here needs to be heightened. I feel like that's going to make you feel like home or bring you back to a centered space as it pertains to maybe even your childhood, Scorpio. The number 50. Some of you guys could be 50. But that breaks down to the number five. So this can kind of, again, soothe your anxiety around this big happy change coming forward and center you. Because there is change happening all around you. Um, connect with your womb. I feel like I touched on this before, but in this particular reading, Scorpio, there's something in regards to I actually want to clarify this because I'm getting a lot of messages in regards to connecting with the womb. Um, this could have something to do with why you feel disconnected with this big happy change or you can't really resonate with it right now or feel as happy as you should. There could be some um, womb trauma, a trauma with the womb here or with your sacral or root chakra here that needs some healing or needs some attention here. Because when your sacral or uh, root chakra is imbalanced, or where you just when you have trauma with the womb, there's a lot of energy just sitting there, and that could be weighing you down, and that could bring about you know different emotions, feelings, memories, um, which can in turn make you feel that you're not worthy of something. All right, that you in fact are. God says so. God said it and that settles it, just period. So let me clarify this womb. Connecting with your womb here. And then we're actually going to read that one and then we'll wrap it up. Clarify this, Holy Spirit. See, Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of drama or burden as it pertains to your womb here. Now, I don't know if you guys, some of you may have had some type of a miscarriage or suffer from or suffer from a miscarriage or has some type of abortion um maybe your tubes are removed or had a hysterectomy something in regards to your womb that makes you feel less than a woman and god said you're more than a woman more than an afraid like you're more than that you're more than your womb your womb wants you to connect with it don't leave your womb and in turn leaving yourself hanging with all this burden and this trauma and this stress on yourself it needs to be cleansed out cleared out but first it needs to be addressed here some of you guys could have suffered suffered from some type of sexual sexual abuse here somebody forcing themselves on you 
Okay, I'm hearing multiple times here. Like, you were never the same. Okay, Page of Cups. Yeah, this could have been when you were a child or you were younger. And you felt that you had no protection, no guidance, no... Um, like no guidance meaning you were never taught what to do to protect yourself when in a situation of being taken advantage of or someone touching you improperly or the wrong way and you're still holding on to that trauma or you're holding on to some type of resentment or you just feel like you just will never be the same after this some of you guys are well like you're 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 grown as fuck, but you've never taken the time to heal from this. Yeah, with the hangman, it's like you're gaining some type of enlightenment to the fact that it is time for you to heal this with the page of cups. But with the page of cups and the, the hangman, source wants you to go about this in um, very gentle. All right. Don't just dive into trying to heal this this trauma, the, the, there's something very strategic that you need to do to get the proper help and healing, all right? Yeah, the hermit. Some of you guys can benefit from like a yoni steam or going to a spiritual practitioner or again, an herbalist that can help you heal the womb using herbs and even crystals here. Very significant, okay? So I'm actually going to leave it there. I hope this helps, Scorpio. I love you guys so, so much. I didn't mean to go over this long. I actually have to get back to work, but leave a comment down below. Let me know if it resonates. If you'd like to leave a super thanks, I would truly appreciate that. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all. Peace.